news tonight. Tragedy on the waters as two boaters have died and one is missing in two separate boating incidents. Yeah, 11 News reporter Lowell Melzer has the latest on both cases from Middle River. Lowell. Yeah, and investigators tell us that weather may have played a role in both of these cases, but that's still under investigation right now. Natural Resources Police, by the way, say that the second boater's body uh, in the first case was pulled from the waters off of Fort Howard just several hours ago. This, as investigators are looking for another boater in a separate case who went missing near Chase. Monday, U.S. Coast Guard crews found this 18-foot sea ray on the rocks at Sparrows Point. Missing at the time were 42-year-old Bridget Marchand of Annapolis and 40-year-old David Franson. It's believed the two left on the boat Sunday late morning and were reported missing near the Key Bridge. Later Monday, Marchand's body was discovered near the bridge, and Tuesday, Franson's body was found in the waters off Fort Howard near where that boat was found. The weather definitely, I think, had some impacts into it. Uh, and I think most people need to ensure they're aware of their surroundings, including the weather, before they even depart. Coast Guard officials who participated in the search with crews from the state and Anne Arundel and Baltimore counties say that weather may have played a role in this tragedy. This, as these same crews continue to search for another missing boater Tuesday. There's an empty boat, and that's it. Chris Jones is talking about the boat his 47-year-old brother John Jones was in Monday when he also went missing. He told 11 News every Monday his brother, who was in the Maryland Air National Guard, would go fishing or crabbing, launching his 14-foot John boat from Dundee Creek Marina. He's haunted by one clue that rescue crews just discovered. The seat cushion was missing, and he would always uh, sit on the seat cushion. He always would fumble with the seat cushion all the time. I was, you know, and uh, that, that's missing. So, you know, if I, I, I don't have any idea what, you know, why he wasn't on the boat. Coast Guard officials say that he was traveling to Pools Island. His boat was found there anchored up, but he was missing. His friend Joe Glenn, who has been helping in the search, says Jones was very experienced when it came to boating and the river. He knows the, uh, what he can and can't do, and uh, he knows his boat. So we don't know until they find him. In the meantime, the search continues. He could have floated in to a uh, on an island, you know, and over in the, on the proving grounds. I mean, that's a small ray of hope we all are holding on to. And that is one thing that is hindering the search for Jones is the majority of the search area is actually on Aberdeen Proving Ground and officials there feel that an underwater search there would be too dangerous because of possible live ordinance under the water. We're live in Middle River tonight. I'm Lowell Melser, WBAL, TV 11 News. Lowell, thank you.